What's going on YouTube? It's your girl Miss Honey. Listen, no Queen Sugar tonight. Um, no Empire. We did have the Republican debates tonight, and um Twitter was just barely alive for that. <laughs> um down here in still in uh mississippi with my grandparents and um i just kind of been really struggling i just I, I don't know i've been feeling some type of way um first of all my grandparents have been married for 63 years and uh my grandmother's really, really having a hard time. Um, and she's declining, but my grandfather's devotion to her is immeasurable, and I find it admirable. Um, but still sad at the same time, okay? Then being down here in a, you know, small little country town like Canton, um, I'm seeing a lot of married people <laughs> with children. My, my uh, grandparents are Pentecostal and Apostolic. So, you know, we get married. <laughs> you get married quick. Okay, you have babies quick. And I don't fit into that mold. Um, I just I want to just talk about a couple of things that um, have been on my mind, and um, I want to kind of navigate through this quickly and just sort of put some questions out there and see what you guys think about what um, some of the things that I've been reading and. Uh, just get get an idea of what you what my honeybees think about things um first of all i read an article on rolling out um dot com uh, by mo barnes uh, and i think it was a uh, more women of color identifying as lesbian or bisexual and I thought oh okay so I read a little bit of that article um, I don't know if I've mentioned it but I've got a couple of nieces that are um, openly gay or lesbian I don't know if you I don't know girls that like girls lesbians okay I don't want to mislabel nobody you know I'm just saying anyway and I love them dearly I will I will yeah you want to fight cross me about my babies okay anyway um I thought that that article was really really um interesting because among uh, parts of the United States with the largest populations of black LGBT couples um, it, included in that is Washington DC, Georgia, Louisiana, Mississippi, South Carolina, North Carolina, and Alabama. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, y'all, with the exception of DC, that's the Bible Belt, boo. <laughs> and I just think it is hilarious that, you know, the largest population of women of color, number one, minority number one, um, two, women, you know, and uh, uh, three, um, 
lesbian and bisexual is in the Bible Belt. I mean, y'all, in Georgia, we only started selling alcohol on Sundays in 2011. That wasn't long ago. Okay? So the one thing that they have railed against and fought against um, has actually thrived and grown and become quite successful in the Bible Belt. And I just think that's hilarious. <laughs> And very telling, but mostly hilarious. Mostly hilarious. I'm just gonna say. Mm -hmm. um, but it's a really, really good article. It's like about Rolling Out magazine is that their articles are short and concise and to the point. But I did find a really beautiful picture um, of a couple on the front. Now, this plays right into the next article that I read on Rolling Out Magazine, which uh, was by Yvette Caslin, and its title was um, Atlanta Church First Lady's Husband and Son Come Out as Gay. Now... Um, of course, I live in Atlanta, uh, you know, or, or the outskirts of Atlanta, and, um, so of course I'm going to read this article. I found it, you know, I couldn't wait to read it. Um, I know this, this, this first lady from somewhere, and it'll come to me where I know her from. You know, being a pew baby, it's not surprising that I would know her or have come in contact with her. Um, <clears throat> Um, but that's neither here nor there. She has written this book called The Gay Preacher's Wife, How My Gay Husband Deconstructed My Life and Reconstructed My Faith. And her name is Lydia Meredith. Um, I thought the article was super interesting. One of the things that she talks about is, um... When she's asked if she's missed if she missed all the signs that her former husband um, was gay, um, she said yes. I miss them. I'm not a tracker. Um, there are some women who are investigators who will pick up on the phone if their mate is not home at a certain time, and if they're not calling, um, that's a problem. I am a professional woman working as a senior engineer for a Fortune 500 company. I was living my life married with three children. Um, and then there's another part of the article that says, I wasn't paying attention because I um, am a recovering workaholic, she defends. Um, Lydia lived in a state of denial even though her husband was arrested for soliciting sex with a man and sought. A fellow minister to bail him out never calling her okay so um, again I find all of that interesting because Atlanta really used to be known as the black Mecca okay because um, this is where a lot of civil rights things happened and um, we we just had a lot of black professionals and now oftentimes i hear it called the gay mecca because you know there are a lot of um, lgbt um q and transgendered individuals um a huge 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 community and um, so you, you get to see a lot more of that lifestyle now, and it's more prevalent here. Even you hear a lot of gay men, um, talk about how, you know, Atlanta's like the spot to come, you know. Um, but more specifically, I wanted to address the issue of this really, really successful African American woman um, having to explain how she missed 
her husband being gay. Then if you fast forward to a conversation that Funky Dineva had put out today on one of his blogs. His question that he put out there was, is that a double standard? Because a lot of times African American women get so pissed off when they see a black man with a white woman when they see a sister with a white male or even a male of a different race it's like go girl do you so he put some questions out there you know is this a double standard is this wrong so on and so forth and um I really thought about it for a little while and I said you know what this all kind of rolls into the articles that I read and he talked about the statistics Funky Dineva talked about the statistics of dating websites in other words on dating websites the hits people are predominantly we're clicking more on Asian women by and large people wanted to date Asian women and then I think Caucasian and then Hispanic um, and then black women were not preferable at all which you know let me say this. I've had a, the last couple of days, I've had a rough couple of days. One, because, you know, um, your girl gets, gets, moody okay depending on where we are in the month of October <laughs> but being here in the south where it's kind of understood that you get married I mean I don't think I've seen one single person um, that wasn't young you know <clears throat> most people are married and you go to church service which I had to do on Sunday against my wishes but whatever I did everybody's married and as a a single woman certain demographic I'm expected to be married number one question people always ask me is why aren't you married why don't you have children you know I hate that question y'all I do I hate that question like you really really looking for somebody to have an answer to that like who who has the answer to that who y'all know that's got the answer to that who do you know who knows exactly why they're not married? And the answer isn't, I don't want to be married. If the answer isn't automatically, I don't want to be married, why would they not? Why would they know? It just doesn't make any sense. How do I know why somebody hasn't asked me to marry them? Which I've been asked to be married, but I've never been married. Anyway, it's dumb. And it's a question that people wait for the answer to. So I find myself avoiding situations where I'm going to be asked that question. It makes me uncomfortable. I don't like it. And um, I think it's invasive. That's just me. 
But then I see this article about, you know, um, the numbers of lesbian and bisexual women growing. And I think to myself, well, I wonder, you know, if a person who is open, I'm not saying not being married drives you to be gay because I think that belittles um, the idea or the the process, the thought process that this is just who I am, okay? But for someone who's open to dating someone of the same sex and also to dating someone of the opposite sex, but having the opposite sex sort of reject you and not consider you as valuable would put you in this position where you say, I'm also open to this other lifestyle. I like that too, or I'm okay with that too. And you find loving, caring, thoughtful individual that is of the same sex. Why wouldn't you settle down, have a relationship, build a home, have children? Why wouldn't you? Okay. Now, let me tell you from my experience. I've had same-sex experiences before. <clears throat> and honestly, I'm a better heterosexual. I mean, not by much, but <laughs> but I'm a better heterosexual. I mean, I suck at being a lesbian. I suck at it. I suck at female relationships, period. I get along with women just fine. And women love me. My, my, all my female friends love me. But I'm a true, true um, recluse. I'm a true, um, what do you call that when people, uh, introvert. I have a very big personality. I know how to turn it on, but for the most part, if my phone don't ring all day, I'm cool with it. And I have found that lesbian relationships are a lot of work. Okay? Hell, heterosexual friendships are a lot of work. Okay? Your girl's not here for it. Don't call me all day, all the time like that. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't want no. So, I was a poor, poor lesbian. I'm barely a good heterosexual, but I was a poor, poor. <laughs> and um, I'm a girl. You know what I'm saying? I got all my girl parts. I give it up. I give it up. To lesbians everywhere. They can deal with another woman, A. And B, being a woman... You okay? I just, I did discover though that I wasn't, I, I'm not bisexual and I'm not lesbian. I just really liked making out. And I find, with the exception of a few men that I've dated, that women just make out better than men. Anyway, moving forward. <clears throat> now to fold in the Atlanta um, first lady who found out her husband and son was gay um, you know again just like people say why aren't you married people want to know why didn't you notice that he was gay well you don't notice because secret keeping is universal people keep secrets and they're really good at it you know I mean people say oh well I don't have good gaydar and all this kind of stuff you 
you know, she wasn't she wasn't sweating a man like that. She felt like we married, I trust you, you trust me, we good. She wouldn't have found out that he was cheating with a woman. If he was messing with women, she wouldn't have known that either. She was busy working. But for her to have to explain herself and why she didn't know, I don't think that's right. And for people to say, if she wasn't so busy working, she would have noticed. But they got three kids together. You know how much stuff people don't notice because they're busy with the children and their own lives? I just, I don't like that. I don't think she is responsible at all for this situation. And that's just my opinion. She didn't make that man gay. Just like she didn't create her a gay son. She gave birth to a gay son, you know. And to try to hold her feet to the fire and, 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 you know, make her accountable for a lifestyle that her husband chose to hide from her. I don't think it's right, you know. Um, but again, this pressure that's put on African-American women. I just, I don't know. It bothers me, y'all. It does. It bothers me. And I feel that pressure. I feel that pressure as a single woman. I feel that pressure as, an, as a, you know, a woman in her 40s. I feel that pressure as a, a childless woman in her 40s. Um... And it's not a pleasant feeling to hear a statistic that says that the least favorite of women is African American woman. It's disheartening. But then you look at people like my grandparents and my parents. My parents have been married, it'll be 50 years next year. Right? We just celebrated their 49th anniversary, 49th wedding anniversary. Um, October something. My grandparents will be will have been married 63 years and for me <clears throat> and a lot of women women that are married for single women and women that are married I mean look at Mary J Blige and all that fracknackle she going through this idea that you're going to be married for 50 years for 30 years for <clears throat> the notion is is um seems fantastical to quote you know to quote uh flavor flav it's very very fantastical even if you're married, that your marriage will have the longevity, um, let alone the hopes of ever, you know, possibly getting married. Now, let me say this, and then I want to pose a question and then put it out there and see what you guys think about um, Funky Dineva's video. Me personally, I have a preference. I prefer an african-american male but all i've known is the african-american male i've never dated a caucasian man except like in high school i mean who i i mean i was a virgin until college so i don't have no <laughs> perspective about that 
um, I've been hit on by white males. I've been hit on by Hispanic males. I've been hit on by Asian males. I have no idea what to do with that. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Because everything in me is tuned towards an African American male. Am I open to date other people? Sure, of course. Other races? Sure, of course. 110%. I just want somebody that's nice and thoughtful and sweet and well-read and funny and um, corny and goofy. <laughs> like me. You know what I'm saying? Just cool. Just cool. Just cool people. I just want to be a cool person. You know? And I don't want to chase. I don't want to chase. I'm not a chaser. I'm not a chaser. I don't chase dudes. I mean, if you ain't turned on by all it is, all it is. <laughs> That's for my wife and my kids. All it is. Um, you know, I just, I, it, I don't know. I don't know. And I'm not thirsty. I'm not a thirsty person. Like, if I go somewhere, I put my best foot forward, and I feel like um, if a dude want to talk, he going to talk. If he don't, you know, I go on about my business. I don't know what to say. I have a great time with myself. I think I'm hilarious. <laughs> you know, and I have someone that I'm currently seeing, um, you know, just like on a real easy breezy basis and um he's a black male and uh i don't know y'all i just like everything about him i like his nappy hair i like his you know the way that hair grow in on his face i love the difference in his skin tone and my skin tone he's a little bit darker i love the fact that um we have a similarity in our culture that we can laugh and kid and uh relate to and about and i don't know that i could have that necessarily with someone of a different culture i haven't tried either but i don't know i'm open what i want to know from you all is um What's your stance on the state of the African American female? I personally don't think um, there's anything wrong with the gay and lesbian lifestyle, a lesbian and bisexual lifestyle. <clears throat> if you want to live as a couple, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Although I, how does two bisexual women live as a couple? Are you just temporarily not bisexual? I mean, because I, I'm assuming that you want things to be monogamous. Anyway, um, uh, anyway, y'all let me know about that. I'm not sure, and I don't want to get into that because um, I don't have any knowledge of how that works, but. Do you think that if a person is currently open to dating people of the same sex um, in whatever capacity that the current state of dating um, for African American women would um, sort of instigate that lifestyle? Um, do you think that there is a disproportionate number of people that think that um, women are somehow to blame in some sort of way for the reason why they're not married or they're, they've been in relationships that have not, um, for whatever reason, worked out. Do you feel pressure to explain whether you are single or divorced or um, you've had this situation in your life or if you're gay? Do you feel as, a, as an African-American woman, do you feel 
this need to explain your situation, whatever your situation is. Okay. And in regards to Funky Dineva's video, how do you feel about when you see an African American male with a white female? Let me just go ahead and weigh in and say, um, it doesn't bother me in the terms that I have something to say about it. It bothers me because of how it makes me feel. Yeah. It doesn't bother me because love is love. It bothers me because of how it makes me feel. I feel, um, and I don't know if that's the same thing or not. Y'all tell me. But it makes me feel looked over. It makes me feel less special, less valuable. Um, I, by and large, I don't think that African American males, um, as a whole, think that we're special and think that we're valuable. Um, and how do you guys feel about? dating someone of the uh, different race and I know that we all have our you know stereotypical ideas of men of other races whatever that is okay but um, I was also reading an article about Leslie Uggams who plays Lucius Lucius mom <laughs> On Empire she's been married for 51 years to a white male great article she talked about how when they got married her her family was like oh, okay it's all right to play around but when you keep on to settle down you need a black male you know I don't want to be that person I don't want to be that person um, at the same time I don't I don't know how to make myself flexible and pliable to date someone of a different race like that person would have to be someone super 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 special because they would have to be able to overcome you know this preference that I've had for you know ever anyway tell me you guys how you feel about um, um, dating someone of an opposite race um, someone from a different culture <clears throat> um, let me say this now one of my favorite youtubers is um, my beautiful chrysalis and uh, she's a beautiful 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 african-american woman and she's married to a caucasian male and when you see them together, I couldn't imagine her with anybody else. I couldn't imagine him with anybody else. They are the cutest, corniest, goofiest. <laughs> They've got beautiful children. She does beauty videos. She does wig videos. She makes her own wigs. I'm sure she got a wig head that she's named. And I'm sure she got hair and hair shit all over the house and wigs she wash it out in the kitchen sink he don't give a crap if I found a white man like that just let me be me I let him be him um yeah <laughs> your girl's all in <laughs> anyway so, um, you guys let me know what you think about everything. Um, I'd love to hear your feedback. I welcome your feedback. And let's go ahead and continue the discussion, continue talking about this. Um, and I know that I've got quite a few people that have subscribed to me that are women of color. I don't know what your um, relationship status is, but I'd love to hear back from you guys. Um, 
So until next time, honey bees. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'll